Can you make a start on that, Minna? There's no rush, is there? Remember I said I was going to a meeting? Oh, yeah. Is it not one of those open ones today where you're supposed to take family and friends? Yeah, that's right. Right, well, why don't I move some jobs around? Free up a bit of time. Nah, you're all right. I'm an old hand at this. I'll go with you. Why well, not you got anything more exciting to do with your time? It's not exactly a day trip to Blackpool, is it? <laughs> hey, seriously, though, what time's the meeting? I really don't mind coming with you. I could be your wingman, a wing woman. Like I said, no, sir, I'm fine by myself. How was the meeting? Uh, you know, same old. Some uh, happy bits, sad bits, and a ton of tea and gypsy creams. Well, if you've all deed on biscuits, you won't want any of this. I thought you were going out for lunch. Well, we took pity on you. We've got a takeaway instead. Well, aren't you a star? Mm. Right then, that's me. I'm going to take mine up to my room, watch a bit of telly. Part timer. Well, I've got no business meetings today, so it's just me and Judge Rinder. I want her job. You'd miss me too much. Some days she hardly does a tap, and she's still loaded. What's that about? Well, she's done well for herself. Good on her. She disappears off to these meetings. When you ask her about them, she's dead vague. Has she always been so secretive? I'll be daft. And what's she doing still slumming it with us? Crammed into that back bedroom when she's got a big posh house in Turkey all to herself. I mean, she must miss the peace and quiet. Well, she's my sister. She's great with Jack. As far as I'm concerned, she can stay as long as she likes. Yep. You're right. It's, it's your house. I should shut me, gay Cole. It's just exciting, isn't it? Living with a spy for MI6. Come on. Come on, let me see you throw some shapes. Come on, give it some. Oh, my I don't know where you get all your energy. Oh, Soz Kev, I sometimes forget you're an old timer. Oh, cheers for that. Jack! Jack, can you turn it down, please? We can hardly hear ourselves think. Hey, and as you saying, Debbie must find our house noisy when it's you making all the racket. You were saying what? I went out. It's just a bit of chat, that's all. Noisy and cramped, you say. She can't understand why you want to stay here with us when you've got a nice big house in the sunshine, standing there, empty. Sorry, have I outstayed me welcome? Have you the heck? We love having you here, don't we? Of course. This business venture's taking longer than I thought. That's what's keeping me here. Oh, and there's me thinking you want to spend time with your brother and your nephew. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if it's a problem, I can go and stay in a hotel. Massive bed, Egyptian cotton sheets, mini bar. See, that's why it's good for you staying here with us. Helps you keep it real. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I don't want to risk getting spoiled. <laughs> so, might as well admit, I'm here for the duration. <laughs>